This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets. <laughs>well it looks like we're gonna get a white Christmas after all had a little trip to Best Buy and I've got an unboxing for you today nothing overly exciting but if you're like me and you're operating on a budget you might be able to find a inexpensive TV monitor for a really good price and I'll give you that at the end of the video uh, but while I was at Best Buy I had a look at the MacBooks I can't help myself I always do and I was somewhat shocked to notice I guess I shouldn't be shocked I mistakenly was looking at a MacBook Pro 15 inch and it was only two thousand dollars and I thought really for an i7 four core two thousand dollars is pretty good and then I realized I was actually looking at the 2015 model not the 2017 model which is twenty three ninety nine and as most of you should know, the cost of living increases by about anywhere from 3 to 6% annually. So if you buy something today, one year from now, it should cost about 3% more. And I'm here to tell you, $399 is, or is it $299, I don't remember, is a lot of money either way um, for a newer model of laptop. So you're getting the same goods that you would have a year or so ago except you're paying a lot more for the privilege now it's definitely more than three percent you figure two thousand dollars ten percent would be 200 bucks so we could have seen the cost rise to 21.99 but it actually went up much more than that so you're actually paying more not just for inflation but actually for the system itself about 100 to 200 dollars more for that system that's a bummer now for most of you this probably won't be overly exciting but for me it's really big because it will help me increase my production here at the fast gadget studio so the key here for me is to be able to speed things up and to be able to work more effectively so i can produce more videos on a daily basis so without further ado i'm going to show you what i bought so what we have is not a star trek picture although it's cool we have an insignia 22 inch led tv so here's the deal with these tvs um, almost all of the small tvs come in 720p it's i'm not going to say impossible but if you're shopping at best buy very difficult to get a TV that is actually a 1080p TV so this one actually is it's one of the few that they have that is and when I when I say I should probably qualify that I mean with TVs that are 32 inches or smaller so it's difficult to get a 1080p that's 32 inches or smaller so the idea with this TV is one I want it as a TV so when I watch football and things like that I'm able to see uh, what I want to watch the other thing is I need it as a second monitor so the idea here is to put this thing up over here I just hope it can actually fit I guess we're gonna see what happens and this will be my main monitor of course as usual but while I'm working and and many of you who use multiple monitors probably know what I'm talking about you can have for example GIMP up here and have your tools up on your second monitor um, you can have your editor up here and have preview up over here so you can have more space for your editor I have always loved having two monitors and it's been years since I have um, been a long time since I had the desktop as well and honestly uh, this should speed things up even more than they already have so in in recent uh, weeks I purchased the new desktop computer down there my Dell 5675 with the Ryzen 7 1700 and sped up my internet connection 
to 150 megabits, which made a huge difference. Both of those things did. And now with this TV, my hope is I can speed things up even more and try to produce even faster without having to move things every time uh, while I'm working. So I'm gonna get this set up and we'll get it plugged in. So first of all, before I take off, for those who are curious, the model number on this one is NS22. I think the part that I needed to know was D420 NA18. So if you're looking for this, look for that particular part number. I just check around every once in a while and it's, it's very difficult to find these 1080p TVs. All right, let's get her set up. So they actually had a video on how to set this thing up. It's got a, um, the, the bag has little handles you can use to pull the TV up and out. And the one thing I didn't like about this TV, but I'm gonna have to figure it out, it's got two feet that go on the extreme outside. And although it's much more stable, it's harder to place on a desk, as you know. Basic remote control, looks like glow-in-the-dark buttons. Uh, this one does not have Netflix built in or any of the fancy stuff, it's just a basic TV. Um, I've found that smart TVs are terrible. I have a Sony Bravia 49 inch and it's the worst TV I've ever had. I have a cheap Hisense 55 inch that works better than that thing. And it's not the quality of the image, but it's the software that is the issue. And I think I'll do a video on TVs at some point. <clears throat> Child safety instructions. I wonder how many people read these. Well, I can't read that one, and I can't read that one. Proper television placement matters. Don't want it falling on a kid's head. You know what? I agree with that. That's scary. Here we are. So they got two different packages of screws here. They have what looks like wood screws <coughs> and what looks like machine screws. So I'm not sure which set I need yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. Well, I have to say it's pretty smart design. It looks like the foot is keyed. So it's got one larger pin and one smaller one. Yeah, and you can see here in the holes, there's one smaller hole and one larger hole. Let's Interesting to note that the second foot, it's actually already missing the rubber little foot here so it's only got four of the three of the four so i'll have to look in the box and see if it's in there all right one of the things i had to buy unfortunately was a display port to hdmi adapter and i got an open box item that was 16 bucks. They want $24.99 for a brand new one. And I'm just not willing to pay $24, $25 for a brand new one. So what I did was get the open box item. And of course, if there's a problem, well, I'll deal with it then. I also bought myself a basic indoor HDTV antenna so I can get some 
of the basic football stuff that I watch. So I'm, I'm pretty geeked with that. So it's interesting, Best Buy has now gotten to the point when you buy things, they actually seal their bags. So here's the Best Buy logo. They actually seal their bags so that when you leave, you can't put something else in the bag, unless you rip it open, of course. So the only way to get this sucker, get the stuff out of it, is to rip it open because that seal will not break open. And that's for theft prevention. I hope it works. So here is the DisplayPort adapter. So it's a, a male DisplayPort to female HDMI. And this was a return box item. So either somebody couldn't get it to work or they thought for some reason that this was going to be an HDMI in because it can be very deceiving. So there on the top we've got the display port and there on the bottom we have HDMI in. I really think that sometimes people think that they're the same thing but they're not. They're completely different. I remember originally when I started dealing with uh, the Dell DisplayPort, I thought they were the same thing initially. So here's why I need the DisplayPort card. If you look back here, you can see that uh, that top slot right here. Yeah, I can't. If I move my hand, you can't see it. Well, there's a black cable plugged in right there, which is the original HDMI cable plugged into the monitor. And then there are three DisplayPort ports so that I can plug in this extra monitor. Well, got the remote here, got everything plugged in. I'm gonna do the so-called easy setup. Uh, no, not interested in voice. Yeah, home use mode. Let's get right to watching TV. I do have an antenna. I'm gonna have to put it together real quick. All right, let's see if we can get any stations in. One thing I hate about this scanning is it takes forever. Um, 10 minutes, sometimes longer, depending. I guess it's a good time to clean up all the garbage all over the office here. All right, the new TV slash monitor is up and running. Um, it's funny because it moved my wallpaper over to the TV. So on the left here is the monitor, on the right is the TV. And I did have to go in and make a setting adjustment, which I'm going to show you. So I still got some work to do on this monitor TV. So it's not nearly as sharp, but uh, I got to change some settings on it. There's still a lot to do with it. Um, I had to go into display and monitor and I had to tell it that the HP monitor was the primary monitor because it actually thought that uh, the primary one was the TV. And it also did not put the TV in 1080p mode. I had to manually select 1080p. So uh, DisplayPort 1, 1920, yep. All right, Gadgeteers, well, I've got the TV slash monitor all set up here in the background. I got a couple of things I got to do. There's a little bit of overscanning. Now, I did try to adjust that in the settings, but I'm going to go back in and look again and see if there's something I can do about that. Uh, and my menu bar, for whatever reason, even though this particular monitor, my good monitor, uh, is the primary display, my menu bar on the bottom here is not on my primary display so a reboot might fix it again so i'll probably do that but overall it's going to work for what i need it to do and i'm pretty happy with it for 49 bucks and the fact that i can watch a little bit of tv on it as well so all in all i'm glad with what i purchased if you know fast gadgets i try to be fiscally responsible so with air quotes uh, and, you know, if I don't need anything super fancy, then I don't buy it. Maybe in the future, if I'm making big bucks, ha ha ha. You know, I might buy a newer, nicer monitor or whatever. But right now I'm getting what I need, and that's all that counts. I do want to say, uh, because this is going to come out on Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas. And I hope you have a great holiday to you and your family. And you get a chance to enjoy the holidays and uh, festivities. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.